Have you ever wondered what the worst things are about Atlanta, Georgia? In today's video, I'm gonna tell you what the absolute worst things are you can expect to find in Atlanta and how to prepare for those. Atlanta is a booming metropolis city with some great features, but there are some really important things you're gonna wanna know that are really big negatives for the city. And if you're not prepared for those, you're gonna be severely disappointed and find yourself in some significant trouble. As I go through the video today, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment those below and I'll be more than happy to get you the answers. And if you do find the video valuable, please consider sharing it and subscribing to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the good things that there are in Atlanta. So be sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video so that you hear all of the best and the worst things about Atlanta and living here in 2023. But first, one of the worst things about living in Atlanta, Georgia is its severe lack of public transportation. Make no mistake, you'll absolutely need a car for daily life in Atlanta. And it should be taken into account if you plan to move to the city. The lack of public transportation is truly striking. I mean, sure, there's MARTA, but avoiding it really is kind of like a big sport. It's extremely inefficient and it often feels very unsafe. Now, one of the nicest thing about Atlanta though is that the locals are genuinely very friendly. The warmth of the people is hands down my favorite thing about living in the city. Southern hospitality is a real thing and you can count on being greeted with a friendly hello and a nod just about anywhere that you go. Despite having almost six million residents, Atlantans have a way of making you feel welcome wherever you go. There's an enthusiastic feeling about the city and a real pride in Atlanta. Locals love telling you how great the city is and it's easy to strike up a positive conversation just about anywhere that you go. A second big negative that I really hate about Atlanta is the summertime. It's super hot and super humid. It's quite miserable as a matter of fact. Atlanta's summer weather is notorious for being hot and muggy. Those temperatures average between 88 and 90 degrees from June to August, and it's really hot and miserable. That humidity, it'll really, really get to you. If you don't like sweating during those summer months, then Atlanta is definitely a bad choice for you. However, a second great thing I love about Atlanta is it's a wonderful city for millennials. Millennials make up 25% of Atlanta's population, and since that number is rising, businesses are catching on. It's no coincidence that places like Pond City Market were received with such great enthusiasm, and since millennials prefer to shop local and support small businesses, those are popping up everywhere. Those big chains like Macy's and Neiman Marcus, they've suffered in the past 10 years, and those small businesses, they have really taken off. It's truly one of the most warm and endearing parts about the city. Now, a third really negative thing that I sincerely hate about the city of Atlanta is the incredible urban sprawl. Atlanta really has three downtown areas, Buckhead, Midtown, and Downtown, but then you have all these suburbs outside the city like Peachtree City, Vinings, Marietta, Johns Creek, and all these other places that really take a long time to get to. And if you're considering traveling throughout the city, you're gonna need to think about that very carefully because there is a severe lack of transportation unless you have that car. However, the number three and probably one of the very favorite things I have about the city of Atlanta is the Atlanta Beltline Trail. Initially starting over on the east side of the city at Pont City Market, the Beltline Trail has grown to a phenomenon all across the city where people are able to enjoy life, exercise, go to restaurants, find entertainment, and visit with their neighbors on a daily basis. The Beltline is generally safe and comfortable to move throughout the city. A bicycle, scooter, walking, or a skateboard will get you just about wherever you wanna go. Now, of course, you can't talk about the things you hate about the city of Atlanta without talking about this next thing, and it's that Atlanta traffic. It's truly some of the worst in the country. I always recommend you consider where you live and your proximity to work and how much you wanna to travel to work when you're considering where you wanna live. Also, keep in mind, some of Atlanta's drivers have no idea what they're doing. 
they don't know how to use a turn signal, and their erratic drivers just go bazooka across the city. And God forbid it should rain or snow because everybody loses their mind and totally forgets how to operate their car. It's a wonder we even survive through these types of events. But of the things I really do love about Atlanta, it is its amazing international airport at Hartsfield-Jackson. Located in the south part of Atlanta, Hartsfield Jackson employs over 63,000 people and has 107 million passengers per year that go throughout their hallways. It's consistently dubbed the busiest airport in the world. Hartsfield Jackson is incredibly efficient and it allows you to move in and out of the country internationally and locally very, very easily. Whether you're looking for a quick trip to California or to the eastern side of Europe, it's very easy to get there from Atlanta. It's also home of the world's very best airline at Delta. Atlanta provides some of the greatest service in the airline industry too. But lastly, I must tell you the last thing I really, really hate about Atlanta, and it is the bugs. Gross. It is considered the fourth worst city in the country for bugs. And we're talking ticks, mosquitoes, cockroaches, fleas, and everything in between. The sheer quantity of bugs is a major drawback for living in Atlanta because you really can't enjoy those outdoor spaces for too long during the summer months without getting savage. So be sure you're carrying those bottles of bug spray. But I do want to end on a good note and talk about one of the best things that it is about Atlanta and it's the incredibly stable job market that's increasing and expanding on large scales every single year. Atlanta has one of the highest concentration of Fortune 500 countries companies in the country. It's home to amazing companies like Google, Microsoft, NCR, Norfolk Southern, and some of the best banking institutions in the world. Atlanta has also become the hub for movie production on the eastern coast of the United States. It's often dubbed the Hollywood of the South, and those opportunities for employment in Atlanta truly are astounding. And it's probably one of the very best things about the city. Plus, housing and living expenses are generally fairly inexpensive when you compare them with the rest of the country. So those are the top things that I hate about Atlanta, Georgia, and a few that are pretty good too. So if you do have any questions about what I've talked about in today's video, what's happening in Atlanta, real estate, lifestyle, restaurants, or really anything you wanna know, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You know, you can call or text me anytime or comment below the video and I'd love to get you the answer. I really do love hearing from you. And thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I really appreciate you. And if you did enjoy the video, please consider sharing it, subscribe to my channel, and click in that little bell button to be notified when those new videos come out. And if you did like this video, be sure you check out the next one that pops up on your screen because I picked it just for you based off of the video we just watched. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.